Developing story for you out of downtown Sacramento, an armed man dead after an officer involved shooting. And within the last hour, Sac police released a photo of the gun they say the suspect was armed with. There it is. Police say he was waving that gun on the top of the roof of the Doco parking garage. That's right. And CBS 13 story Abadaka. She is joining us live there from the scene with more on what we are learning. Tori. Yeah, you guys, right now we're standing on a bridge that actually connects Doko directly to this parking garage where everything did unfold. You can see it behind me here. And police say that that man did point his gun at multiple security officers that were in this parking garage. And it ultimately all unfolded on the very top of this roof. I was feet away from him. I mean, he was like on the other side of the, um, the parking lot. This is the man Kimberly Noriega says she saw on the rooftop of the Doco parking garage. Security told me that, you know, basically had to, you know, vacate the premises because the guy had a gun. She was at her car on a break from cleaning up after a concert at Golden One. I mean, gosh, if you would have done it right when they were coming out, that would have been horrible. That would have been horrific. We can't confirm that. We believe he fired several rounds during the time he was uh, in contact with officers. And police fired back, shooting and killing the man after hours of crisis negotiator teams tried to de-escalate the situation. Everybody is scared. For 42 years, Peter Novin's custom tailor's business has been in downtown Sacramento. He says he's been broken into twice. And now, showing up to the crime scene above his business, Novin says he's had enough. I don't know whether I'll re-sign up again when my lease is over. Do you feel safe? Uh, I think that it's something that we all can work on. Saying hi news. Yeah. Safety. Just being more aware of our surroundings and where we're walking, where we're taking our family. A concern for almost everyone we talk with in Doko. There is always that fear with the homeless and everything too. As investigators look into how this officer involved shooting unfolded. But obviously when someone, fire, when someone displays a, uh, a handgun at officers, we, our attempt is to stop the threat. I'm just ready to go home. Like, just hug my mom and everybody because, I mean, you never know when it's be your last. Back out here live, obviously a lot quieter than it was earlier this morning and overnight. This parking garage did reopen to the public at around 1.30 p.m., so people like Noregia were able to finally get inside and get to their cars. Now, police are saying that they did see that man shoot multiple times. Um, they didn't say at what point during the standoff this happened. And, of course, this is information we are still digging into as this investigation continues. Yeah, we'll have more on that tonight on our newscast as well. Tori, thank you.